What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. Today we're going to be going over one of the best investment tools out there that you can invest into and set yourself up for your future. And that tool is none other than the Roth IRA. And the Roth IRA can get really confusing because there's tons of rules and there's so much specifications. But in this video I'm going to try to explain it as simple as possible for you and for new and beginning investors. In this video we're going to hit on what a Roth IRA is, its advantages and disadvantages, who it's best for and how to set one up. So with that being said, cue that intro. So let's talk about what a Roth IRA is. A Roth IRA in the most simplest terms is an individual retirement account that you can invest into at any age. And once you're 59 and a half years old, you can withdraw all the money you invested plus the profits all tax free. And that's the biggest benefit. You won't have to pay any taxes or capital gains when you withdraw your money, which is awesome. It is a bit more complicated than that, and we'll go over that in the rest of the video, but that's just the easiest way that you can put it into. And here's where it starts to get a little complicated, and that's with all the rules. So we'll go over how it works. So once you set up your Roth IRA on a brokerage, and we'll get into that towards the end of the video, you can contribute to your Roth IRA. The way it works is you contribute to your account by putting money into your investments inside of your account. The money you put down initially into your account gets taxed right away, but the trade-off is when your money is worth way more, you can take that all out tax-free. So if that's hard to follow along, just think about it this way. So let's just say you have $100 to invest inside your Roth IRA and you're part of the 10% tax bracket. So you're going to be paying 10% on the $100, so you're going to be investing a total of $90 inside of your Roth IRA. So that $90 is now worth way more after 10, 20, maybe even 30 or 40 years of compound growth. And now it's worth over $1,000. And now you can take that all out tax free. So if you think about it, you pay $10 of tax and now you don't have to worry about it at all. And you get to keep that thousands of dollars now to yourself all tax free. So you rather pay the $10 than pay, you know, you probably be a higher tax bracket by the time you retire. So let's just say now 20% on the $1,000. So at the end of the day, it's definitely a great tax advantage account to have. Sadly, there are limitations on how much you can invest inside your Roth IRA. So let's take a look. In the year 2021, you can invest $6,000 every single year. Any more than that, and you actually get hit with a little bit of a penalty. But any less than that, you're totally fine. You can actually not invest if you don't choose to, which is one of the cool things about a Roth IRA. And then after the age of 50, you can invest $7,000 instead of $6,000 every single year, just because there's a catch up bonus. So that's as much as you can invest every single year. So that's the first limitation on how much you can contribute every single year. There's also a limitation on how much you can make before you can contribute to a Roth IRA at, at all. So at $125,000, you start getting phased out. So you won't be able to fully contribute the full maximum of $6,000. And then eventually when you hit $140,000, you won't be able to contribute to a Roth IRA at all. And that's if you're single. If you're married, it's the same thing. So it's $198,000 before you start getting phased out. And then $208,000 is where you completely get phased out from investing inside a Roth IRA. And of course, it sucks that there's a limitation, but if you think about it, most people won't end up ever making more than $125,000 anyway, so it can still be a really good tool to utilize in building your retirement portfolio. And also another thing to look at is they actually increase the limit every five to 10 years. If you take a look in 2009, it was $5,000 and now $6,000. The same thing with how much income you can make $105,000 to $125,000. So if you're young right now and you're thinking that you're probably going to make around 140 K and you don't think it's worth it because you're going to get phased out. Think about it this way. By the time you gain experience and grow your career and make that money, this income threshold will actually increase and you won't actually end up getting phased out and another thing to look at is the younger you are right now and the less money you make right now the more you contribute the less tax you're paying right now up front and then by the time you get closer to the end of your career you're going to have so much more compound growth and your portfolio and your Roth IRA is going to be worth way more than it could possibly be just leaving that money on the side. So let's talk about the biggest advantages of having a Roth IRA. So the first thing is you can actually use the Roth IRA as an emergency fund. So as I talked about earlier in the video, you can actually invest up to $6,000 every single year into your Roth IRA and you can withdraw all of that easily. All tax free, no penalties or anything like that, but you can't take out your profits. So even though you can't take out your profits, you can still take out as much as you invested, which is a cool thing. So if anything were to come up unexpected, you still have all the money that you invested to your Roth IRA as an emergency fund. 
there are a few exceptions when it comes to withdrawing all your money from a Roth IRA. I won't go too much into detail on that just because it's out of pocket. I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But like I said, this is a video for new and beginning investors or people that don't really know anything about a Roth IRA. So I won't go out of pocket, but nonetheless, let's hop into, in my opinion, the best reason to have a Roth IRA. And that's all about compound growth. One of the reasons why a Roth IRA is so underrated is because you can actually become a millionaire, scratch that, a tax-free millionaire by the time you're ready for retirement. So let's take a look over here. So let's just say that you started at the age of 25 and you contribute the maximum every single year and you're getting about 7% every single year. And you got to remember in the last 50 years, the S&P 500 returned about 9 to 10%. So this is being a little bit generous, but we don't know what the world has to come. So let's just say 7%. So with that 7% and the maximum contribution, you're going to get to one point, almost 1 1.5 mil by the time you're age 65. And the power of compound growth is so great that if you start at the age of 15, so you can actually start at any age and you can have your parents sign you up and help you contribute. So by the time, and if you contribute the max, by the time you're 55, you'll be a millionaire. And then by the time you're 65, 2.3 mil, 73.2 mil, which is insane. You got to remember the biggest benefit of a Roth IRA is this money is all tax free. So you basically become a multimillionaire, a tax free multimillionaire, which is just insane. And this is where compound growth really takes a turn. So if you take a look, if you start at the age of 45, you won't be able to hit on the full effect of compound growth as if you were if you were 15 or 25 when you first started. And of course, it's not that easy to get $6,000 to contribute every single year. But I mean, you can always cut corners. You can be a little bit frugal. Instead of buying a large coffee, you can buy a small coffee or maybe make homemade coffee. And there's tons of studies that show that if you just cut corners on a few things and on a few expenses and just save, you can totally contribute and make that $6,000 every single year. I'm not telling you that you have to because you guys remember I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. I'm just some dude on YouTube, but I would highly recommend it because you can legit set yourself up for your future, your retirement. And a lot of us that are younger probably won't be able to collect social security. It might not be around by the time we retire anyways. And another cool thing with this Roth IRA account is not only is it all tax free, there is no RMDs. So what an RMD is, is basically just a required minimum distribution. So for some other tax advantage account, you have to take out all your money by a certain age. And for us as a Roth IRA investor, you don't have to do anything at all. You can actually just leave that money in there for as long as you live. You can keep letting it compound. And in fact, you can actually pass it down to a beneficiary. So maybe your child, your wife, whoever it is, all tax free as well, which is just another cool benefit. But nonetheless, starting at a younger age is definitely something that you should do with a Roth IRA just because you're also contributing to a lower tax bracket. And I mean, just look at it, man. This compound growth is insane. So there are a few disadvantages of having a Roth IRA. The first one is the income threshold because you're at the end of the day, you're paying way more taxes than the normal person. And it's definitely worth looking into a traditional IRA. I won't go too much into that just because that's a context for a different video and I'll definitely make that in the future. But just know the more money you make, the more taxes that you're going to pay up front. The second one is the maximum contribution limit and it kind of sucks that's only $6,000. And of course, it is hard to do the full amount of $6,000, but... At the end of the day, the more money that you invest, the more money that you can make. But at the end of the day, you're still being able to build a retirement portfolio for yourself. So I don't really think it's that bad of a disadvantage, but it's still one that exists. And the last one is one that I'm kind of struggling with too. And that's to kind of build your wealth with the money that you have instead of putting it into a Roth IRA. And the reason for that is for those of you guys that know me, I'm trying to be able to build a portfolio on dividends where I can actually invest into it and retire early. So it's kind of hard to put some money on the side in the Roth IRA, just knowing that I can invest it into dividend portfolio and be able to help myself retire early. But I mean, it's kind of a trade off. This is more safer. So at the end of the day, I kind of do have both. And I think that having Roth IRA is definitely safe. Like I said before, it can definitely be an emergency fund, but it's a trade off that you're going to have to be willing to have. But nonetheless, it's definitely something that can help you more than it can hurt you. So let's talk about the best places to open up a Roth IRA. And this is by NerdWallet. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out the reviews for yourself. So to be honest, I'm not really too familiar with most of these. And I'll show you guys which one I use. But from my experience, I know that Betterment, SoFi, and Vanguard are probably the best ones if you want them to manage your money for, your, for you and you really don't have to do anything. It's all robo-advised, so they just pretty much pick some ETFs and you're pretty much good to go. 
the one I use is Acorns and I'm actually in the process of transitioning this over to M1 Finance where you can actually manage it myself. But this one actually costs some money, the other ones would be free. That's why I'm kind of transitioning it out. But as you guys can see, I have $810, nothing too crazy. I started it last summer and we're up about 8%. So like I said, nothing too crazy. We're in the process of bringing this over to M1 Finance where I can manage it myself. And I'll definitely make a video on my own personalized M1 Finance Roth account. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button so you guys can see that. And I appreciate you guys for doing that. Also leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But other than that, this is my account. And if you guys want a referral to Acorns, I'll leave a link in the description. It's pretty easy, basic. It's really good for anyone that doesn't want to pay too much attention to your account. M1 Finance is great if you want to manage it yourself. You can actually allocate it. And I won't go too much into detail. Like I said, I'll make a whole video on that later in the future. You can also, I believe, make a Roth IRA in Weeble. But other than that, that's my best recommendations. So with that being said, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today on the basics of the Roth IRA. And if you guys have any questions, you, know, you can leave a comment. You can hit me up on Instagram, DM me there, or you can email me, whatever works. I reply to everyone and I'll hopefully be able to answer ASAP. So just let me know if you have any questions. If you guys enjoyed this comment, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This took me forever to do research on, to film, and to edit. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys could just leave a like, comment, and more importantly, subscribe. Join the A-Ray fam, you feel me? But other than that, that's pretty much it. And guys, remember, everybody eats. And good luck. Always do your own research. And yeah, peace out.